you see the historical sign, right. and you're like, okay, cool. And then you walk in and you're like, where, where am I? Where am I at? So in January of 2015, Joaquin, myself, and our two kids, we rent apartment C at 1517 West Gerard Avenue. One day, my mother-in-law lets me know that there's a group down the stairs. I go down with my Philly scowl in place, and there's this beautiful brown woman holding this printout of a photograph. It's of the building, but it's older, and Marian Anderson is in it, and she looks like she's in my apartment. And that's when things really started to change. The Pyramid Club was founded in 1937 in the basement of the Christian Street YMCA. By 1940, they moved into their permanent home at 1517 West Gerard Avenue. They weren't just any black social club. They were the black social club. One of the things that made them really stand out were their art exhibits, which ran from 1941 to 1957. So when we arrive in apartment C in 2015, I'm just coming into my own, painting, creating, really with just the basic knowledge that the Pyramid Club existed here and in this building. But by 2018, when Waka and I started doing our own artist residencies in the apartment, the voices of the past got louder and louder. Humbert Howard was a postman and also member of the Pyramid Club, and he was in charge of organizing the exhibitions. You read about him, he's this very ambitious, entrepreneurial man who's organizing all of the artists, people like Doc Thrash, who had been part of um, the WPA programs in the 30s, and then looking for new fora to display their work and to be professional artists, making money. Every major collector in Philadelphia attended the exhibition, so that would include Albert Barnes. And this was the only real black gallery space in the early 40s, right? So it was the place to be. I'm not a visual artist by training. My early forays into visual art was art in elementary school. My foray into art is obviously through Star. Like we were a football basketball family. So like if you like think of like AC Slater, like you know what I mean? Like arts didn't fit into my world until Star, right? It was a men's club and not all of the members were necessarily comfortable with the idea of exhibiting art because of certain notions of masculinity, I suppose, but they went with it, you know, and they learned to change some of those notions. What was the role of women in this men's club? Because they're very active. We know that they're there and probably, if you just look over the course of a 24-hour day, they're in the building more than the men. I feel set up. <laughs> like the building knew, the ancestors knew exactly what they were doing. It felt like people were talking to me, not like out loud, like, how they have like the ghost stories, like, but it was instruction. In all honesty, like, when we started doing the artist residencies, I don't know if they were really connected to it. I don't think we knew what was going on here. So that's when we started to at least like first see the connection, like, okay, it's, it's a social club, all right? Now we understand that there's a little bit of history to it. We just kind of like felt a spirit of like creation in here, right? It was just turned out to be Star and I and our kids going on this journey for the first time. When I came into the building, just feeling the vibe of it, you know, and then knowing, you know, the history of the pyramid 
uh, club and I was like, you know what? If this is the last show that I do, first and last, I want it to mean something. The light was fantastic. When you walk in, there's this open room. Um, the kitchen connects to the living room. Um, there's like a natural flow to that space. It gave folks the opportunity to walk in to this grand space, to be just vast in light and surrounded by artwork. Doc Thrash specifically was an artist who did a lot of cityscapes, landscapes, and portraits. Um, he did that to showcase black life. Um, this is also a period where we're talking about from early 1900s to, to the 1960s, we're talking about a lot of lynchings that are happening for black people. So a lot of artists are responding to that by showing black people um, as human beings. I think because of proximity to New York City and the Hunt Renaissance, um, and Doc Stash's work and the artists, that kind of attributed a lot to like a lot of the exhibitions here and the work that's going on here. The residency here was so, it was such a turning point for, for my own work and for just my, my own like self-concept, I guess, as an artist. And then to have friends and loved ones come to the different shows um, and, and just kind of, even just standing back and like having all these different conversations, I feel like I could feel the history a lot. It was wonderful having the space and having the support to mount an exhibit. Just knowing that there was a lot of segregation and um, a lot of rules and regulations that were happening against black people. And so that was kind of like a necessity for folks to kind of like have those spaces, those safe spaces and create those spaces for, for that. Just the idea of a space dedicated to the exhibition of black artists and art related to the black experience in the United States. That's part of the history of this space. And you know, that, that was a rarity in the middle 20th century. I've learned a lot about the Pyramid Club. Again, the obvious pointers, it was a social group started by black folks in the city um, because they couldn't get in anywhere else. So they started their own. So the idea of ownership of space to me was that's a privilege and people don't understand that either. I don't know if we live in another building at that same time that doesn't have that history if everything happens the same way for us the way that it did.